Manchester United are in advanced talks to sign Nusim Mazraoui from Bayern Munich. The 26-year-old, of course, has played with Eric Ten Hag at Ajax before, and he was supposed to be going to West Ham, but well, things have changed. Here's the full story of the Mazraoui to United links, how they've developed, and a brief look at his profile compared to wan -Bissaka. Is he the right back that we need? Manchester United have been considering a move for a new right back. Aaron wan -Bissaka, one year left on his contract. If we don't sell him this summer, we lose him on a free transfer. It looked like Mazraoui was going to be going to West Ham, but no, that deal, it seems off now. What about Denzel Dumfries? What I'm going to do in this particular video is run through the full story of Mazraoui to United because it seems like that is back on and we're in advanced talks to sign the former Ajax defender. Of course, we're concerned about his injuries, but is he the right fit? I'm going to compare his profile to Dumfries and wan -Bissaka. We'll have a little conversation. I'll run through the full story. Make sure you drop a like on the video. This one's going to be a good one, but let's rewind, okay? That's why I do in the full story videos. Take a look at how it's developed over the course of this season. But Maz Rowie, he wasn't first choice at Bayern Munich and he hasn't been first choice at Bayern Munich. Conrad Lehmer came in and he ended up getting the position and he was challenged with getting back in the team. He did that in parts, but not particularly. And then uh, I think this came out in June time. Bayern Munich needs to sell this summer, all right? They need to sell in order to buy. And with Maz Rowie, his name was... Definitely a player that they are willing, were willing to sell, and that's only continued to develop. Of course, around about, what is this, mid-July? 19th, I think, July? Yeah, there they're about, it's 19th of July. The price came out for Masraoui, 30 million euros, and you'll notice how this price has definitely changed. 30 million euros felt, nah, I suppose, like a fair amount, but given his injury record, there would be some that would argue, no, that's a little bit overpriced. And then Manchester United and West Ham came in for him saying that the first concrete talks have taken place. He's at the top of the list for both clubs. He's keen to leave. Bayern wanted 30 million. However, they're saying now that that's going to drop to 20, 25 million. Most realistic price is 15 to 20 million euros all in. It's a bit of a drop. Then, boom, Bayern Munich have agreed to deal with West Ham. Transfer fee of 15.5 million euros plus 4 mil in add-ons. A pretty reasonable fee, if you're asking me. There's also a verbal agreement between Masraoui and West Ham in principle, but it's not a done deal yet. And it certainly isn't a done deal yet. Although David Ornstein did corroborate that information from Florian Plettenberg about West Ham agreeing terms and about West Ham agreeing the fee with Bayern Munich. And then here we are today. The move to West Ham is off. No agreement on the agent sign has been reached. Despite the agreement between the clubs, 15 and a half mil plus four, and on the player side, West Ham have now left the negotiations. United are pushing to sign Masraoui. The talks are advanced. And that's where we find ourselves. So in the last like 72 hours, it's been, oh, wan staying stayed and wan is going. And maybe wan can move to West Ham. No, West Ham, they've agreed a deal with Masraoui, so he's not going to go there. Oh, never mind, that's not gone through. But how about he actually wants to go to Inter Milan? What about a swap deal with Denzel Dumfries? Covered that in the video yesterday. The truth is, none of this happens if wan doesn't leave, right? And I've maintained uh, the last like 24, 48 hours, Man United will not let him leave for free. So whatever the scenario here, whether it's Masraoui, whether it's Dumfries, I don't really know still. But wan is going to be leaving, right? And his exit is, it has to happen for any move for Masraoui. But United are back in for him and the advanced talks are ongoing. So what I'm going to quickly do now is take a brief look at the profiles of the three right backs that could be Diogo Delo's competition next season. Masraoui, wan -Bissaka. And Dumfries, as far as we know. Masraoui here, in terms of... You can see where his strengths are, man. Everybody knows them. Pass completion, progressive passes, touches. We go over here and we can see that he is a very proficient defender when it comes to possession and when it comes to progression. And for a lot of United fans, that's definitely going to be one of the most crucial aspects when it comes to Eric Ten Hag and the style of play that we want. wan -Bissaka, we know exactly what wan -Bissaka is. He's all about tackles. He's all about interceptions. And that is his game. And he is the very best at it in the Premier League. And Denzel Dumfries is somebody who brings that threat going forward, but isn't really somebody who progresses the ball massively. I say massively, doesn't progress the ball at all. He's in the ninth percentile for progressive passes. He's in the 41, 30, 41st, 41th, 41st percentile for pass completion. Whereas on the other hand, Masraoui 
he is basically a guaranteed passer. 97th percentile for pass completion, 96th percentile for progressive passes. He receives the ball and he finds his teammate with it. Now, I don't need to tell you what the biggest concern about Maz Rowey is. You know exactly what it is. Everybody knows what it is. And it's probably a big reason why Bayern Munich are willing to sell him and why Conrad Lehmer came in and established himself as their right back. Injury concerns. He's got an absolute bucket load of them. But at that price there, you're probably potentially looking at pretty much this. You're looking at Masraoui coming in and wan going out and pretty much it being a net zero cost to Manchester United. And I want you to let me know in the comments. Again, I've been asking this the last couple of days. Like, who would you choose? wan or Mas or Masraoui or Dumfries or Masraoui or Dumfries or wan -Bissaka? I personally think a lot of the conversations are a bit of a mute point because I don't think wan is going to be here next season because he's only got one year left on his deal. I think the question is whether Masraoui would be the right person to bring in if wan was to go. Now, on paper, if it worked, it'd be a great signing. Masraoui, great as a right back, can play left back, great as an inverted fullback, great with the ball progression, comfortable at bringing out the ball from the back, which has been probably one of the biggest faux pas of Eric Ten Hag's football so far, because we still just haven't got that at all. We really, really don't. But of course, the red flags are all over the shop when it comes to his injury concerns. You don't have those concerns with Denzel Dumfries. And you don't really have those concerns with uh, Aaron wan either, but you just have concerns about his ability to play as that progressive right back. Sure, he is the best right back in the league when it comes to tackling, when it comes to defending. The numbers speak for themselves. He's one of the best in all of Europe's top five leagues. However, when it comes to building that dominant, progressive, controlling footballing team, Aaron wan isn't somebody who helps you in that sense. His profile is something very different. And the profile of Masraoui absolutely fits that. So I can completely understand why Manchester United are in talks. And according to Florian Plettenberg, are in advanced talks to sign him. Everyone thought he was going to West Ham. Now it looks like he's pushed away from that because he wants to join Manchester United. He's 26. He's got years ahead of him. If we could get him for the same price... Uh, well, I think that's that's pretty much the minimum we should be asking for for Wan-Bissaka, 15 million euros, plus a little bit of add-ons. Uh, but the fact that he's only got one year left on his deal kind of takes negotiation pa negotiating power away from Manchester United. Yeah. I think if Wan-Bissaka had one more year on his contract, maybe United would still tr be trying to do this. Maybe, maybe not. But fullbacks were pretty much where we had our biggest problems last season. Really. Well, just the whole of defence. Defensive injuries. Big problems. masraoui has got versatility and flexibility, can play in multiple roles, but of course, he might end up being the person that's on the injury table more than anybody else, and I think that's correctly the biggest red flag about him. It just depends whether you think it's worth that risk, because it would be a risk. Like every signing is a risk, but the only thing United won't risk is losing wan for a free. So no matter what the conclusion is, I don't think it's wan staying a Manchester United player and just seeing out his contract and leaving on a free transfer next summer. But whether it means Masraoui coming in now or Dumfries, I don't know. But we're in advanced talks. Who would you choose? That's the big question. Masraoui or Dumfries or somebody else. Kadioglu is the name that gets thrown about. And correctly so, by the way. But Masraoui, let me know.